Hey everyone, it's MGems here. Welcome back to episode 4 of A Life is Strange 2. In the first part of the episode, we found out sort of what happened after the heist in episode 3. Um, we got to find out what happened with Sean, obviously, that he was in a coma for a while and that he's lost his eye. Um, and then also kind of what happened with the other characters, which I'm so happy about, that we got to find out what happened to them and that for the most part they're okay. We also got to see Finn in the hospital, which I wasn't expecting at all, honestly. And now we have climbed out the window, stolen a car, <laughs> and are on the search for Daniel. And uh, Sean figured out that Jake went with him to Nevada. So, we didn't quite look at everything last episode. <sighs> what a mess. <sighs> Plotus can now add Grand Theft Auto to my file. Yeah, but honestly, like, pretty sweet that you know how to do that, not gonna lie. Shit. It will never hold until Haven Point. Oh man, we've already had a bad experience at a gas station. Oh, come on. Did you interview everyone in that hospital? For what? Oh, I thought that was, oh yeah, okay, that was just in this lady's car. Take. Maybe we'll need it? Oh, it's just a souvenir? I thought maybe we'd have to call her for help or something. Okay, I think I looked at everything. Dude, you could at least, like, recline or, like, lay down in the back. Wait, is this a dream or is this happening? Oh, yeah, we've got hair. I guess it's a dream. <laughs> Still with me, Sean? <laughs> yeah. Just zoning out. Just don't do that when you're driving, my son. Dad. So, uh, what's the verdict on the new car? I know it's not a new board, but it's got four hot wheels. Thanks for finishing it, Dad. A perfect reward for your excellent report card. <laughs> I'm proud, Sean. You don't even bullshit me when you need cash. And I'll try to be cool. No dad jokes, huh? I hope you're not too bummed out to go on a big road trip with your lovely papito, huh? <laughs> That's all I want to do. Is he saying you're the coolest sarcastically? <laughs> I'm gonna say it though. <laughs> oh, please. You're the coolest dad. How could I be bummed? He Excuse is me. such a cool dad, or was Where's such a cool dad? Where's my regular, emotionless son? <laughs> I appreciate it. Think we can hang out for five days without killing each other? Hell yeah. Haven't done that since I was a kid. Miss it. So do I. Been too long since we went padre y hijo against the road. <sighs> Way too long. I love road trips. Good to hear. <laughs> By the way, boy talk. What's going on with that gin, huh? <laughs> Nothing because we love Lila. <laughs> you know, going okay, I guess. That was like pulling teeth. Well, I've got a week to find out the truth. Try out new stuff? What does that mean? It's, uh... Over, Dad. Too much shit going on. Oh, he said that so out. sadly. Oh. No. Hmm. She seemed like a nice girl. But I'm not worried about my handsome shiny boy, huh? <laughs> oh. 
I just said that because I'm not trying to be with Lila. <laughs> Hola. Hello. Everything okay, Lila? Oh, Daniel better not be giving you any sass. <laughs> nah. He's an angel. We went to the swing pool, and now we're making popcorn for movie <laughs> night. Yes! It's so cool. Hey, Sean. Don't crash the car. He's driving <sighs> real slow and safe. Like a grandma. Thanks for checking in. We'll buzz you when we hit the motel. Lila, you ready? Sounds good. And Sean? Jen told me to say hi. <laughs> What? I just said it was over. Mm. Doesn't sound like it's over for everyone here. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I don't know. Seriously, though. How are you really doing? I guess it's a dream. I could have just said that we were happy or whatever. It's too bit, but... I miss you. I miss you too, my son. But this is all part of growing up. I know. I don't like it. I have total faith in you, Sean. You're a Diaz. You were born to roam and find your way home. God. I love you, Dad. Wish I would have told you more. You didn't have to tell me. You showed me. Oh. By the way, oh. hey, oh wake my god, up. It scared me. Huh? What? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing on our property? Huh? Oh man, I crashed hard. Oh yeah? Come on out, boy. Who the fuck is that? A fucking kid. Get out. Look, I'm leaving, okay? Uh, no, you ain't. Step out, or I'll call the cops. You don't want that boy. Well, you even just said yourself that I'm a kid. What's wrong with you? Why are you being so mean? Okay, okay. I'm coming. I'm pretty sure they're gonna make Hold me on. get out anyway. Good. Now we can see you. So tell us what the fuck you're doing on our land. I... drove for so long, I... I had to pull over to get some rest, you know? I swear, I had no idea this was your property. There's a fucking sign. Didn't you see it? I... No, I've only got one eye. <laughs> was too exhausted. God. I guess I missed it. He's just a kid, and he's hurt. Look. Yeah? What happened to your eye? I... Caught into an accident. Oh yeah? Uh-huh. Move it. Huh. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, it's pretty obvious we stole this car. Please. I just want to go. Oh, -ho. what's this? Drugs? Yeah, for my eye. Oh yeah. Did you steal them? Like this car? I can't just say I lost the keys. It's Take very obvious. Oh Dude, shit, I didn't have time. Get it! Let's see what he's holding. Sometimes it gives you, like, time, sometimes it doesn't. It's hard to know. So? Nothing good. Any money? Fucking toys, man. You still play with toys? Seriously? It belongs to my brother! Leave it alone! Oh god, first big choice. Okay, I'm almost certain that if I choose to take it back, that's when he's gonna hit Sean. Maybe if I do nothing, he won't hit me. But, like, I kinda wanna take it back, cause, like, these guys are just being bullies. <sighs> this probably isn't that big of a deal, but, like... I don't want Sean to get more hurt. To be honest, I feel like Sean wouldn't do nothing. I feel like he would take it back, especially considering how on edge he is. And how, like, if that kind of represents a Daniel to him, and he's doing anything to get to Daniel, he would do something irrational, like, 
<laughs> maybe hit a guy to get back Power Bear. But that's the thing, like, Power Bear is not Daniel. It's, like, not really worth starting a fight over. But god, this guy really annoys me. I kind of want to hit him. <laughs> it might not be that big of a deal if we t just take it back. Like, it might not be as big of a deal as I think it's going to be. And maybe if we're going to see Daniel again, like, he would be happy if we had it. This is why it takes me so long to get through an episode of Life is Strange, because I just agonize over everything. I want to take it back. I feel like this is stupid. But I'm gonna do it. Whoa! You did not. That's it, boy. Ugh. You're stealing from me. Get up. Up! I'm sorry, Sean. I was worried he was gonna get more hurt. Okay, Chad. We fucked with him. Your let name him would go. be Chad. He's got nothing. Hey. Hold on a sec, Mike. You speak Spanish, Pedro? Huh? What? 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 Hablas Espanol. Chad. So, Professor, how do you say, I'm a dirty thief? Oh, you don't want to share oh, your. Oh, God, language? I pressed it. Come on. Okay. I gotta be faster. Maybe you know this one. Uh, I'm a dirty thief with one eye. <laughs> Soy un ladrón y chinga tu madre. Uh, wait, madre? Uh, what did you really say, asshole? Huh? All I want to do is learn Espanol. Might be our official language someday, right? See, si, senor? So, one more lesson. How do you say, this is not my country? Oh my god. Fuck off. This is my country. <laughs> yes, Sean. Did you hear that? I hope Look, that guy Chad, gets hit by lightning. It's gonna rain. Let's go before we get soaked. No, we took the country back. Hold on. This little thief is fucking with me. You're really pissing me off, you know that? But I'm willing to give you one last chance to make things right. Sing oh, some. Oh man. What? Oh, I'm getting so Just mad. Just the audition and you're free. We'll be very upset if you refuse. Oh no. I'm not doing what they want. No, I, I can't. I can't. Like, I'm so pissed at what at what he said. I just, I can't. I don't care if this starts a fight. And it's kind of awesome seeing Sean stand up for himself. And he should. Oh, God. No. Really? Okay. I warned you, boy. Stop! Stop it, Chad! Ugh. What the fuck, man? Ugh. 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 Oh my god, Holy cow. Sean. What are you doing? Listen, you little beaner. Get your shit and go. Now! <gasps> Look, just drive straight and you'll hit the highway. Forget this happened, man, okay? Freaking run them over after that. God. were split apart. The oldest wolf was badly hurt, but nothing could stop the wolf from following his brother's tracks. Oh, 
Oh, that was honestly so upsetting. I didn't want Sean to get beat up like that, but... I just wasn't gonna do what that asshole wanted. I guess he had to ditch the car because it ran out of gas. He must be exhausted and starving and insanely dehydrated. Okay. Still a few hours away from Haven Point. Hours? Almost there. need a break. Might be some shade at the next billboard. Oh, man. Drawing a mushroom on our backpack. Oh, I can walk faster. Well, thank God. Let's go to the casino. We can, like, win our money back. <laughs> yes. Shade. Oh, man. My feet are killing me. It's like hiking in hell. Oh, shit. My throat feels like sand. I mean, this looks really beautiful. <laughs> well, there's a positive. Never drew a desert before. Huh. It's so empty and quiet. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. This place is so empty. Huh. <laughs> At least I won't mess up perspective for once. <sighs> I guess that's an okay start. I wonder I how much, going. like, how much of the game that the, the developers, like, had planned out ahead Caught of time. A good picture of it. You know? I'm ready to draw now. Like, did they know when they were first conceptualizing this that Sean was gonna lose an eye and, like, all this other stuff? Or do they figure that out sort of along the way? I'm just like really curious. Guess I could spice things up a bit. <laughs> Make the whole thing funnier. I'm kind I could of try adding details. To see what hell would look like, but focus a bit more. We're trying to be positive up in here. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Man. My eye always starts hurting when I focus for too long. You're doing amazing though, man.
Okay, I guess that was everything. Can we just come across someone nice that will pick us up and drive us there? Daniel better be okay. Feels like I haven't seen him in years. Of course I miss everything about him. Even his whining. Yeah, you can't wait to get out on your own. Now you are. Oh, that scared me. And it sucks. Friendly? Not a lot of cars around here. But I better stick to the side. Oh, <sighs> sorry. I just thought walking on the road would be easier for you, man. There's a truck. Maybe Shit, we should move. There's a truck coming. Whoa. Is he honking at me? He's topping. Uh, okay, uh, be cool. Just uh, see what he wants. He sure could have stopped a little bit closer to me, huh? Look, dude, don't try anything, okay? We're Truckers right in front of the Jesus cops. billboard. Right. God is watching. Can I look in the window first? Do I recognize you? I don't think so. Hey, need a lift? It's too damn hot to be walking. I can't trust old white guys in this game. They're all assholes. They're all racist assholes. I don't know. What is the worst that could happen if we get in? Like, we're gonna get to Haven Point, eventually. We have to. He might try to steal from us, but like, he kind of just seems like a trucker, like, on a job. I think it, I don't know, I'm feeling like it might be okay to get in. Not that under normal cir circumstances you should do this in real life, but like, it's so brutal seeing Sean walk through this. Please be nice. Please be nice. Yeah. Thanks. Hold up. Oh no, he gave me a weird look. Seemed like a weird look, right? Maybe I'm just paranoid? Food. Jeez, what the hell happened to you? I ran into a couple of assholes who beat me up for no reason. Uh, I see. Happens a lot around here. Your voice is kind of creepy. But I'm not gonna assume anything. Hey, Anton, you there? Everything all right? Yeah, what's up? GPS tells me you parked in the middle of nowhere. Just wanted to know what happened. I, uh... I had to make a shit stop. Over. <laughs> eh, too much information, but... 10-4. <laughs> you mean number two. You owe me a beer for that. Over and out. It's so nice Don't to see Sean out. smile. I... I wouldn't have picked you up. I cared about that hitchhiking law. Okay. Wait, cool. there's a law? Okay. 
So, you hungry or what? You look hungry. I mean, yeah. <sighs> I am. Thank you. As Are you the heard, drugs in the sandwich? <laughs> my name's Anton. It is good, huh? My wife packs the best sandwiches. Oh, he seems really nice. <laughs> Messy. Best sandwich ever. Seriously. Thanks, sir. Anton. Anton. Right. What's your destination? Hmm. Haven Point. You've heard of it? Oh, yeah. Straight ahead, about an hour. Yeah, it would have been hell for Sean to walk this. Maybe we would have gotten in anyway. I like the cactus sticker up there. Take a nap if you want. You don't have to stay awake to be nice. Hey, don't worry, kid. I'm not a fucking weirdo. Mm. Just a boring trucker. I wouldn't sleep, honestly. He could be taking me to the cops. There's a church. Is that it? Last stop. Haven Point. Thank you so much. You just be careful out here. These people are kind of weird. Really? Okay. 10-4, good buddy. Thank you for being nice. Finally. <laughs> Finally met a nice person. Okay, I'm feeling really nervous. And he said they're weird here. So that could mean anything. Wow. Forgot about Easter. I completely lost track of time. For sure. Claire wouldn't approve gambling. Claire would be so proud of us, going to church. Can't a lot of cars for a place in the middle of nowhere. Because it's a cult. <laughs> I actually have no idea, but... It, it seems like a plausible theory. So glad this guy picked me up. Hope those people are caring Christians. Like our grandparents. Hello. You okay now? Is it gone? I... I think. Good. Scoot back inside now. Okay, Dad. Uh... Hello there. Is everything alright? Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't worry. You here for the service? Uh, not really. Looking for someone. Don't be shy. Everybody's welcome here. No matter who you are or where you're from. In his eyes, we are all equal. Plus, we have a pretty nice spread after the service. Stay as long as you want. Does okay. he think I'm homeless? Uh, thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'm just a vessel for our reverend. Thank her. 
Looks like you're here to see our new miracle, right? Wait, what? Uh, what miracle? <laughs> you haven't heard of him? Then I won't spoil it for you. He'll be here any minute now. Just come inside and see for yourself. Are they talking about Daniel, or is that too obvious? Praise the Lord. Also said the Reverend was a woman, so mom? Oh my gosh, Kay. Her cough sounds real bad. Yeah, that was like a weird Her interaction, was wasn't nice. it? He was nice. Maybe people won't judge me here. I want to take my time and look around. I don't want to miss anything. Not much different than my hipster stickers. People tend to showcase what they love. Wow. Must be a pretty good church to drive all this way. What if they, like, live here, though? <laughs> We're just really snooping now. <laughs> okay. Where are you, Daniel? Unless I'm, like, supposed to be going all the way over here to look for him. My eye is itchy again. Wonder how many people come and go through this place. Smells like bacon and bread in there. Oh, shit, I'm starving. We just ate a sandwich, though. I mean, I really don't know what that guy would be talking about other than Daniel saying miracle. Back door? Nevada is like a giant slot machine. Should we go through the back door this or place seems different. try going through the front door? I don't know. Hmm. Must be more kids here. Huh. I wonder if Daniel made friends. I can't see anything. John is like really Guess certain. It's time to go to church. That Daniel's here. It's pretty likely that he is, but if he wasn't, I'd be pretty disappointed. It's so weird to picture Daniel out here. Maybe I can ask a bit more about this place. Hmm. Kind of figured that. What are they doing around here? Except going to church. It's totally a cult. They're all living here. It's weird. That's what it is. Front door, back door. I don't know. I'm so tempted to go in the back door, but... I hope Jacob and the others took good care of him. <sighs> yeah. Very humble. Whoa. I don't want to seem suspicious by going in the back door, you know? Make a bad first impression? I mean, we're not looking so good right now. <laughs> so they might judge oh, me a little. Feel that cold air. Why oh, are they talking thank about God my brother for like that? Praise be to Daniel. Yeah, it is Daniel. No uh, names I recognize. I wonder if they're 
If he's doing this willingly or not. Claire had pretty much the same ones. <laughs> Cute. A picnic with Daniel? What's going on? Oh, wait, Reverend Fisher? What was Karen's last name? I mean, Sean would be reacting if that was his mom, so. I don't know, because maybe, like, Jake, like, promised him that this was going to be a good place and stuff, and then, like, told everyone about the powers, and, like, Daniel didn't have a choice or something. They take care of people. Maybe they need it. How much did I just donate? Oh, a dollar. Okay, that's fine. Even though they might be bad people, I don't know. Nice picture. Wonder if she's in charge of this community. Wonder if they'll let me in. Wait. No way. The angel Daniel? Oh, shit. Yeah, this is getting super weird. Better clean up first, so I don't scare Daniel. I'm so worried about Daniel. That's better than nothing, I guess. And we know someone here has a gun. We hear that word a lot, but faith is not just a word, my brothers and sisters. Oh no. What is faith? Remember Luke 18, 27. What is impossible for man is possible for God. Amen. With that righteous faith comes the salvation of your souls. Can you cross that invisible bridge to salvation? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. Do you want your soul to be saved, brothers and sisters? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. You are not like all these sinners out there. So I never asked the Lord for a sign. Then he gave me one. He spoke to me and told me that I was doing right. And to reward our great faith, the Lord sent me the ultimate gift. Yes, he did. An angel, a child graced with the power of God. The miracle we have all been praying for, waiting for. Can I get a hallelujah? Do you have faith? in his power. Do you have faith in me? Then please welcome our newest member and our latest miracle, the angel Daniel. Here is Daniel, the prophet who was thrown to the lions by false prophets. But God saved Daniel so he could do his work. Yes, Daniel was brought to me to deliver us, to guide us from the wilderness to our destiny. Now Daniel will reveal the true power of the Lord.
Daniel. I'm glad he's okay though, but like... This is so weird and disturbing. this miracle! Do you feel your soul rising like the cross? Rise. Get up. Stand up. A messenger. Our flock keeps growing. I see more and more new faces. But this is only the beginning. You must spread the word. Bear witness to this miracle. Yes, God. Thank, Thank you, you oh, so much for coming. And God bless all of you. Yes. He doesn't look okay. Amen. I really don't know what to make of this. Like, I just want to talk to Daniel. As our reverend said, we do appreciate your kind donation. This helps us keep our church and to spread the word of God. Oh yeah, there's only a few tickets left for our picnic raffle next Sunday. Don't miss the child and another miracle. Any questions, please talk to me outside. Bless you for coming today. <laughs> Oh, uh, hi. I saw you out in that parking lot earlier. <laughs> yep, that was me. I like to be here too. We can see the whole room, and it's where our reverend mother teaches us classes. <coughs> Whoa. You okay? Need some water? Uh, and no, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that's too bad. Hey, what happened to your eye? Well, that's a long story. That's okay. My name is Sarah Lee. What's yours? Aw, oh, you must be Jacob's sister. Did you get oh. that letter from Jacob? Back when he was in California? Yes. <coughs> How did you know he was in California? I was with him. Uh, that's how we met. You are Daniel's brother? Really? He's always talking about you. Hey, uh, not too loud. Yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. What do you need? She's so cute and sweet. If something happens to her, I'm going to be so upset. I have a bad feeling. Um... Who is this Reverend? You don't know her? That's her mother, Lisbeth. She was blessed by the hand of God when she was my age. <coughs> she can't ever sin. The Lord guides her. What is this place? This is our home. <coughs> our church and community. The Reverend Mother says we were all chosen by God. Okay. What is Daniel doing here? He's our miracle. And the Lord brought him right to our Reverend Mother. I like him. He's really kind and funny. We play together all the time. Well, that's nice. I feel like I really need to talk to Jacob. So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's gonna be so happy when he sees you. I hope he, he is. He you so much for his birthday. It will be like a late surprise. A 
I'm so nervous. There's a lot of kids here, which I don't know. Daniel, you're the living proof of their faith and mine. I know you understand. I guess, I mean, Sean? Oh my. Sean, you came back. I knew it. You've grown up in Anna. Do I look older? What? What happened to your eye? Don't worry. It's okay. Did that happen at the farm? He didn't even know? Because of me? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe, like, he was taken out of there before, like... Forget it. It wasn't your fault. I should have... It's okay. Does it... hurt? No. <laughs> Not as much as your haircut. Shut up. <laughs> it's different. I kinda like it. Sean, I didn't want to leave you there. Nothing I could do. I was so scared. I even thought you were dead. And... It's okay. You did think we were dead. We're together now. Yes. So, are you gonna stay with us now? Huh? I... We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But... We don't need to. We have a new home now. Look. One step at a time. Daniel, give if Sean a chance want to here. process this. I'm sure this is all so overwhelming. By the way, my name is Elizabeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return. Mm -hmm. Sean, you must be a believer now in our Lord, too. Um, I'm going to play it safe. Mm, kind of. Daniel told me you had faith. That's how you got here. But first, I need Sarah Lee and Daniel to grab the medicine kit. We have to take care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Aww. Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay, Reverend Mother. Let's go, Daniel. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Well, Sean, it's a pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. She seems you were so away from shady. Daniel for quite a while. I was in a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. So what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family, and it would be good for Daniel to have you by his side. You should know that the Lord has big plans for him. Oh, God. I'm leaving here. With Daniel. Yes. Yes, I know about this reckless journey. I'm his family. Two young boys are not a family. What the heck? Mark 3, 25. If a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Daniel sounds more like a prisoner than a guest. It yeah. saddens me that you see things that way. After everything I've done for him. Exploited him? I know him? why you're scared, Sean. That's because your heart's full of sins. I've heard everything oh, man. about your journey, Sean. And I cannot let a sinner like you into my community. Not until you make penance. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry, my son. I'm not your son. And Daniel isn't gonna be your golden cow. Daniel, come on. Why don't we ask him what he wants to do? Do not touch me. Oh God, don't throw the lady. What the fuck? What did you do? Nothing. Did Enough. she fake it? You spilled blood in the Lord's home. Sean. What happened? Your brother came in here, impure and acting like a criminal. But he her can scarf be saved thing keeps flailing Daniel. around. Sorry, Sean. She's right. 
I will pray for you. Oh ben, no, they've really gotten to him. When you're ready, we can. She's trying to manipulate you. Let me lead you to the one true light that never goes out. I want to be your friend. You're crazy. Let's get out of here, Daniel. He's not gonna go with me. I want to stay. She faked that. Just go. There's your answer, Sean. We're together again. So we can go, right? Come on. Get off me, dude. Oh my god. What? Daniel! <coughs> let me go, asshole! <coughs> Daniel! They're not your family! Stop it. You just need to have faith. We'll be waiting. Daniel! It's okay, Sean. Sean. Daniel! <sighs> There you go. Satisfied? Now don't you ever come back! Oh my god. Get up or do nothing? If I get up, is that like... Sean attacking this man? This whole thing is so crazy. These people are crazy! Oh my god. I actually never considered the fact that, like, they were really gonna get to Daniel and, like, use religion to manipulate him like that. And now I feel like he's not gonna listen to Sean. He's not gonna go with us because, like, he thinks that the people here are, like, genuinely good people and are trying to help him and, like... And I think the other thing is they're probably making Daniel feel like like a good person in a way because remember daniel was always like blaming himself and like wondering if his power was a curse and then these people are making him feel you know like they said like a miracle an angel and so he probably wants to stay around that i can't believe that woman like she threw herself to the ground right and gave herself a bloody nose isn't that what happened like that's insane because she knew that would manipulate daniel further to not trust sean like, that's crazy. It's honestly so scary how you don't really know who someone is, right? Like, they can have this outside demeanor of being so accepting and friendly and all that, and then, you know, they're, they just are actually capable of doing really terrible things. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave this episode here for now, you guys, and in the next part we will decide whether we are going to get up or do nothing. I'm certainly feeling more inclined to one option, but you'll have to wait until next time to find out. So for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next part.